Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Locomotive Versus. We have begun Season 8 of Local Royales. There isn't an overarching theme this season, but there's definitely some wacky stuff to come. Today's episode is all about those 464s, famous, infamous, forgotten, Hudson types, Baltic types, Reed types, whatever you want to call them. I'm your host, Ellis, otherwise known as the Admiral. With me, I have my trusty technical advisor, Tyler. Hello. And with us, we have five lovely contestants and five lovely locomotives. But before we get to them, I will remind everyone that there is a new batch of trading cards coming out soon. You can keep tabs on that on this channel and in our Discord. And if you miss the boat on getting your Batch 2 trading cards, there are still a few packs left on our website. The link to all of that is in the description. So, without further ado, if you're curious as to how to play this game, there should also be a link to the rules down there. And it's time to introduce our contestants. Starting with, in the first position, K-Master. What did you bring to us today? Uh uh, I brought the greatest Hudson that has ever been made, in quotation marks, of the <laughs> New York Central J3A Hudson. All right. This is an Empire Express version, or Empire State Express, which yes. I, I actually do like these a little bit more than the Dreyfuses. Um, yeah, the ESCs are very nice. Yeah. Stainless steel. You can't really go wrong with that. Ask the Burlington route. Uh, but, yeah, True. definitely one of the most Ask famous Ask Rust. Ask Rust. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, definitely one of the more famous Hudsons. Uh, we'll see if it stands up to its competitors. In the second position, you the Enigma, you brought a beer can. Hello. I, I brought the Canadian PBR beer can. The Canadian PBR. <laughs> uh, the Canadian yeah. Pacific 2850. What class is this, perchance? H1D Royal Hudson. Gotcha. Uh, in the third position, Bender, of course, representing... Milwaukee Road. The Milwaukee Road. Of course. This is yes. an underrepresented... style lead truck. This is very underrepresented uh, class of Hudson, and had a chance of being the first, actually, when it was drawn up. Really? This looks like yeah. a, a much later, more advanced type of Hudson, but I guess... That's because the Milwaukee rebuilt the hell out of these. I see. All right, it's interesting to see what kind of style points this thing's going to pull out. I already see lots of wacky appliances. Uh, the Milwaukee Road. Yeah, the Milwaukee Road. Uh, Kaiserin, what hath you brought for us today? I have brought the Chesapeake and Ohio L2, number 301. I'm going to be honest, the front end of this thing looks like a Photoshop, but I can't unsee it. It looks like they, glued, they you know, just like copy-pasted the front end of a Kanawa on, the, on, oh, on a... Hudson. Yeah. The CNO had some really interesting stylistic choices. Small 614. Yeah, exactly. 614. We'll just call this the 64. Um, <laughs> or maybe the 6.4. Uh, finally, everyone has heard the voice of East already, and I'm sure no one could have guessed what this is. No, um, it's a train. It's a train. Uh, it's the it's C sixty two number two. This isn't your photo, is it? No, uh, my photo of it is well, it's in the shops, out of reach. Oh, sad. All right. Well, this is this is a a nice little Cape Gauge Hudson. Uh, Tyler and I were talking about it before we started the show because this was his pick. Uh, if that yes. surprises anyone in the audience, <laughs> I am going to do a quick. Who broke the stat sheet already? What the? Oh, my apologies. I did not know I did that. <laughs> Control Z, please. <laughs> Control Z. Thank there you we that. go. Uh, oh, I see. I, I got rid of a lot of code. <laughs> We're off to a off to a fun start. Um, mm -hmm. I am just gonna real quick rebalance some voices to make sure oh. everyone is audible. Stat machine broke. Hopefully, Stat Machine will not break. So, 
For those who don't know this game, I will give the abridged version of the rules. There are four rounds and a round of style points. Each contestant gets to pick one stat, one statistic from steamlocomotive.com uh, each round. And the stats are scored based on whether they are higher in most cases or lower in other cases. The winner gets five, the loser gets one, and everyone else gets everything in between. Everyone has one veto, which can be used against one stat, and that stat will be ejected from the game. Anyway. <laughs> what's so funny about that? Uh, what Caden just said in not moderating, now, that's what I call an excursion. Oh, boy. The quadruple header. Uh, should have seen the quintuple header at Cass. Anyway, K-Master, <laughs> you have the honor of being in the first position because you guessed closest to my number. So, what is your first stat call? Let us see here. Let's do valve gear. Okay, valve gear. Going once, going twice. I see no vetoes against valve gear. Please enter your valve gears in the W column, the special order light blue over on the right side. Starting with K Master. What is your valve gear? My valve gear would be Baker. Baker. All right. What about you, Mew? I already typed it in wall shirt. You didn't type it in the right spot. Oh, okay. Skill issue. Uh, over in column W, please. Bender, oh. what about you? Uh, w Baker. Oh, sorry. Baker. Wait, w Baker. or I? W, please. Column W. In the light over. blue. You'll see where it says a valve gear in cell V17. So that's two for Baker, one for Wally. Uh, Kaiserin, what do you have? Oh. Let me check my stat sheet to make sure I'm right. Baker. All right, yeah, I don't see a banana. And East, what do you have? Oh, wash it. All right, so that is three Bakers, which are the winners. Five points to the Bakers. And two points to each of the wall shirts locomotives. Off to a great start, let's go. Off to a great start, perhaps. Mew, what's your stat call? My stat call will be booster. Booster tractive effort. Going once. Going twice. Veto. Veto from I was, Bender. I was really waiting for someone to veto, and I'm like, if no one vetoes this, I'm, I would like automatically we're playing with like, nerds, much scrubs. It's a. It, I mean, you never know. You might want to hang out of that veto for later. All right, Mew, try something else. All righty. In that case, I will go with. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I will go with same as above, but substitute firebox area for great area. Same as above, but sub firebox. Going once, going twice. There it is. Starting with K Master, what is your same as above, but substitute firebox area for great area? Oh, let's see here. 123,066. 123,066. I put that in for you. Uh, you. Mew, what about you? Damn. 116,545. All right. Bender? 120,218. 20,000, all right. Uh, Kaiserin? Let me double check this real quick. It is same as above, but sub firebox for great area, right? That's correct. One fifty-two four ninety. Wow. Well, I think we know who the power. C and O knew how to build a locomotive. I'll say that much. Uh, what about the Cape Gauge thing, East? Sixty-five. Sixty-five thousand. <laughs> well, you know. For what it's worth, it's, um, you know, about, it's more than half of the next one above you. It's not the worst. Well, anyway, 
Bender, <laughs> what is your first stat call? Oh, sorry. Let me go. Uh, let, let me let Bender think on that for a second and just announce the winners of that and say that uh, five points went to the CNO thing, four points to the Empire State Express, three points to the Milwaukee Road, two points to the Canadian Pacific, and Milwaukee. one point to the Cape Gauge Japanese thing. Bender. Stat. I had to really think on this, and this is an important question. You know. Uh oh. I'm going to go with tender water capacity. Ooh, tender water capacity. That's an interesting one, looking at your tender and the tenders of the people around you. Going once. Going twice. Let's see tender water capacity. Okay, Master, whenever you're ready. I'm getting this. Let's see here. Water capacity. Uh, 18,000 gallons. 18,000 gallons. Put that number in when you can. Well, I put it in for you, but in the future, oh. put it in when you can. Uh, Mew, you as oh, well. Oh, I got you. Putting that in now. 14,000. Whoops. 14,400. 14, 14,400. 14,4. Like a car salesman. Uh, Bender. 15,000 even. Okay, well, you're not at the bottom of your own stat. Uh, Kaiserin? Um... Just making sure I'm right, you know. Mm -hmm. 21,000 even. 21,000 even. That's a big tender. And uh, let's hear it from East. 5821. 5821. It's funny to see those conversions. Five points to the CNO once again. Four points to the Empire State Express once again, despite the fact that that tender is mostly coal. Three points to the Milwaukee two points to the Canadian Pacific, and one point to the poor Japanese. Kaiserin, what is your first stat call? I'm going to go with uh, tender fuel capacity. All right. Tender fuel capacity. Going once, going twice. Um, okay, I think we should be good here. Okay. <laughs> tender fuel capacity. Notably, this is a coal locomotive. Uh, K Master, drop that number in and uh, let's tell me what here. it is. Uh, we're going to have 46 here. 46 tons. Yeah, I can see why you would win that. Uh, Mew. Yep, looking here. Ooh. Right. 21 tons. 21 tons. Bender? 20 tons. 20 tons. All right. Kaiserin? Uh, it's not the best, but it'll get me second. 30 tons. 30 tons. These are huge tenders. All right, East? 11. 11. Oof. Uh, that is five points of the Empire State Express. That's... Not a surprise to me. Four points to the CNO thing. Uh, three points to the Canadian Pacific. 28.50. Two points to the Milwaukee Road, 135. And one point to the C62. All right. It would be nice to have... I sort of want to... Okay. Uh, the only one that isn't listed as its... As its... Uh, class is the Canadian Pacific thing, which I'm going to keep forgetting, so I'm just going to call it the Royal Hudson. East, it's time for your revenge. Brenda, I have a question for you. Me? Yes. Oh. On your stat page, are you using the rebuilt version, or are you using the as-built? There was only one version, and there was no material difference between the rebuild and... The rebuilds are essentially just adding junk. <laughs> There's no material change to the properties of locomotive besides drivers and uh, fixtures and such. That's kind of it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and then do year. Year built. Going once. Going twice. All right. Let's hear year from the Empire State Express. Uh, let us see here. Are we doing, like, actual build date or the date it got that Empire scheme? Uh, if you know the build date of the locomotive, you can say that, but... Otherwise, whatever it says on the stat sheet. 
Okay, I believe it's 1938 then. 1938. Uh, Mew. Okay, based on local base, it should also be 1938. All right, 1938. Drop that number in when you can. Bender. 1930. 1930. Okay. Uh, Kaiserin. 1942. 1942. Well, that's going to explain a lot about this locomotive. And East is about to come out of nowhere. 1949. 1949. Not the overwhelming Ooh. win that's usually involved with year, but up against four American engines, you know that's a win. Uh, uh, Kai Kaiser's going to have, like, Kaiser's going to have, like, 22 points here. Yeah, this is going to be what? a lot of freaking points. Uh, five points go... I, I'm sorry, I didn't hear a thing that you said. Don't worry, he just oh, said you were going to have a lot second. of points. Uh, that's five points to East off of that. Four points to the CNO. Three points both to the Canadian Pacific and the Empire State Express. And one point to the Milwaukee Road. Which is interesting considering all the fixtures. So, would you like to know the date when this photo was taken? I would love to know. Uh, 1952. Oh, wow. All right. Well, that survived a while. That could be a style point later. Well, not when East is on the field, but remains to be seen. Yeah. Uh, Kaiserin with the CNO L2 301 is in first place with 23 points. In second place is the Empire State Express J3A with 30. Uh, with sorry, with 21 points. And then there is a large gap. And then there is the F6 with 14 points. The Royal Hudson with 12 points, and the C62 with 10 points. Tyler, do you have any thoughts about the state of the competition thus far? I, I think all the competitors are slowly learning where they sit, which yeah. is good. And to so make things are we. more interesting. And I think you all kind of have a target now. So, uh, have fun. Perhaps. Anyway. Uh oh. <laughs> Good luck. K Master. It's the beginning of the second round. What right, is let... your second stat call? Let us see here. Um that's not a good idea. Let's do a builder. Builder, huh? Going once? I'm gonna go ahead and say no. Alright, that's a veto on builder from east. Alright, K Master, try something else. Uh, let's see here. Pillar would have been a very interesting one. It would have been, yeah. Driver diameter. Driver diameter. I was waiting for this in the line of Hudson's. Going once. Going twice. Driver diameter. What is the driver diameter of the J3A, K-Master? Double check here. Seventy-nine inches. Seventy-nine inches. Pretty close to uh, the big eighty, which we don't see much over. What about the Royal Hudson? Seventy-five inches. Seventy-five. A little bit smaller. Uh, Bender, how about the F6? Eighty inches. Eighty inches. See, Those drivers look a lot smaller. Yeah, than I was about to engine. say this. This locomotive must be enormous because those drivers do not look eighty inches. Well, the one thing I wanted to say was when he asked about the thing, the only change they, the only thing they changed about the engine is they added thicker tires because they were seventy nine inches. Oh, interesting. Well. That's an interesting wrinkle. That is a strategy. That's a thick tire. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, Kaiser. Seventy eight inches. Seventy eight. Ooh, just short. And uh, the Cape Gauge thing, East. Almost 69. Almost this close to greatness. Uh, uh, 68.9. 68.9. Alright, five, pa five pants. Yeah, five points go to the Milwaukee Road. L uh, sorry, F6. I'm going to need to try and get these classes straight. Uh, four points to the J3A. Three points to the L2. L-2. Uh, two points to the Royal Hudson. And one point to the C-62. At least this one's easy. It says it on the front. I can't forget this one. That should be an extra yeah. point for me. Yeah. Helps Ellis remember. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. 
Uh, God. I'm sure this... I'm sure there will be no bias coming out of our technical advisor that I have to stifle. Uh, definitely uh, no bias. Uh, all right, Mew, what's your second stat call? <laughs> I'm going to call driver wheelbase. Driver wheelbase. That's a smart call with the second smallest drivers. Going once. Going twice. All right, let's see driver wheelbase. K-Master, oh, you're up first. Let's see here. 14... 14 even. It's a nice round number. Yep. How 13 about point 17 13, 30. 17. Nice. Better? It's a 14. 14 even. Um, Kaiserin? 14. Another 14. So it seems to be the magic number for Hudson's. East? 12.47. 12.47 is the winning number. That's 5 points. For the C62, four points to the 2850 Royal Hudson, and three points for everyone else who tied. Slightly inflating the score, but there you have it. All right, Bender. Bender with the big tires. What's your stat call? Big tires on his hip. Oh my because God, there's really no good one here for me. Um. I feel like you mm. could. I feel like this thing has got to go toe to toe against the uh, the um, L dash two. But looking at your same as above, but substitute firebox for gate great area. There is still a definite difference. Minimum weight of rail. Minimum. Like the Ooh, minimum weight of rail. That's a bold call. Going once. Going twice. All right, minimum weight of rail for the J3A. This might hurt a little bit. 112 <laughs> pounds. 112. That's not that bad. Uh, we'll see how it go. How, we'll see how it compares. Mew. 104. 104. Mm, I get the feeling mind. you're going to be second lightest. Bender. 109. 109. Okay, not that bad. Kaiserin. Uh, I, I'm in deep trouble here. <laughs> oh, no. 121. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Moses! Oh, boy. All right, and uh, East. 79. 79. That's actually more than I expected. These are these are chunky little things, but that still gets you five points. Um, four points to the Royal Hudson, three to the Milwaukee, two to the Empire State Express, and a lowly one to the Chesapeake and Ohio. Kaiserin. I was going to say this earlier, but um, it's like the CNO stylistic choices was basically make it big and humongous. Yeah, I mean, they really tried to fill up the loading gauge. Uh, Kaiserin, with the CNO thing, what is your second stat call? Firebox area. Firebox area. Definitely a smart choice considering going once, going twice. All right, let's see firebox area. Okay, master, as always. All right, three sixty. Three sixty. That's uh, pretty substantial. Mew. All right, I almost put. Three twenty-six. Three twenty-six. I was looking at the gray area, and I was like, "This can't be right." <laughs> yeah, that tripped me up too. Uh, Bender. Four hundred eleven. Four hundred eleven. Wow. All right, let's see what the CNO thing has, though. 460. 460. I was expecting 500. That's really high. C62. 216. 216. To be the smallest locomotive, both a blessing and a curse. Anyway, five points to the L-2, four points to the F6, Three to the J3A, two to the Royal Hudson, and one to the C62. East, the smallest locomotive here. What is your stat call to end round two? Weight on drivers. Weight on drivers. Going once. Veto. Veto from the Royal Hudson. Interesting. All right, East, pick something else. Engine weight. Engine weight. 
Going once. Going twice. I'd veto that. Okay, a second veto on the wait. Easta, uh, you've burned up everyone else's vetoes. What are you going to pick now? Uh, <clears throat> then the loaded weight smaller is better, correct? That is correct. Yes. All right, there's a go. We don't have any Hudson tank engines here. Going once, going twice. Tender loaded weight. How big is that giant coal-filled tender, Kate Master? Uh, hang on, I'm trying to find it. Oof. <laughs> 420,000. Blaze oh, it. Oh my god. Like that, uh, 420,000, mostly coal. Mew. The Senate needs to get you like that. 288, 650. 288. The, the disparity is insane. Uh, Bender. 287,780. Wow, that's close. Uh, Kaiserin. 393,000. And finally, 121,651. 121,000. It's such a funny looking tender too. It looks like it looks like a te like. You should, you should see it straight side on. It gets even funnier. It belongs in like pocket trains. It's so simple looking. Uh, five. Oh, here. Look, look at this side on image. Five points for the C60. Let me check it in streaming recording. Yeah, it looks. It doesn't look real. It looks like they made that up for the sake of this model. It's funny, we have a bunch of... The undersized engine. We have all these 464s. Uh, nobody brought a commute tank, which would have been a funny wrench to throw into this. Um, don't, don't don't forget, Ellis. I almost I almost came with the North Korean thing. I know. I was surprised you didn't. I was honestly disappointed. I, I'm surprised that you have something American for once. Uh, it seems to be serving you well, however. That said, and this stat, five points went to East. Four points went to the Milwaukee, three points to the Canadian Pacific, two to you uh, with the CNO, and one to the Empire State Express. So, let's look at the standings after this second round. Things seem to have evened out a lot more, as a matter of fact, although the L-2 remains in the lead with 37 points. Uh, in second place is... The Empire State Express still with 34 points. Then we have a gap of but a single point for the Milwaukee F7. And then there's a gap of only three, or sorry, only six points between that and the trailing two locomotives, the C62 and the Royal Hudson. Both of these uh, stately looking locomotives are in last place. I wonder what that says about the brutes that are currently Ellis, occupying the top three spaces. If, if you think the tender for the C-62 is bad, look at the tender for the C-59. It's, yeah. it's flat. It's a box. <laughs> uh, they stole that I've tender more. They stole that tender from the NG-15. And you can't yeah. convince me otherwise. But we do have a gap of ten points between the top and the bottom, so danger is out there. Uh, Tyler, what do you have to say about this uh, arrangement? I feel like this is just the concept here. You need to gang up on the C and O thing a little bit more. I feel like the uh, other large locomotives are too afraid to call weight stats because they know East is just going to win. Yeah, especially considering how last call went. Mm -hmm. K Master's the only one on the board with the veto. This makes things very and I'm a interesting. Saber. <laughs> Yeah, the only veto going into the second half. This is... That's alarming. Mm. Usually people hang on to them. Uh, At least until the third. Well, it doesn't matter right now. Uh, K-Master, what is your third style point? Uh, let's see here. Or stat call, rather, not style point. We'll do that later. Let's do engine wheelbase. This en might be interesting. Engine wheelbase. Going once. Going twice. Let's see engine wheelbase. Starting with the J3A. I got 40.33. 40.33. 333 repeating, of course. Mew. 39.5. 39.5. Bender. 40.75. 40.75. That's the longest one so far. It's interesting. 
Might be that AA uh, truck. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> guys are in. I'll go coming in clutch. Yeah. Uh, forty-one point forty-seven. Oh, I stand corrected. And finally, thirty-four point five one. Thirty-four point five one. Not as great of a difference as one might expect, but still more than enough to get five points. And four points go to the Royal Hudson, three to the Empire State Express, two to the F6, and one to the L-2. Uh, speaking of the Royal Hudson, Mew, what is your second stack call? Or third stack call? I am going to take a calculated gamble. Go on. Total engine and tender weight. Total engine and tender weight. Going once. Oof. Going twice. All right. Let's see total engine and tender weight. I heard an oof out of K Master, so I'm expecting a large number. Uh, long don't copy paste. <laughs> yeah, sorry, my bad. Um, you can copy paste if you. 785,500. Do that. All right, seven eighty-five thousand five hundred. Not quite a million pounds, but Mew. Let's hear your number. Six hundred forty-two thousand six fifty. Seems to be paying off so far. Bender. Six hundred sixty-eight thousand. Still seems to be Ooh. paying off. Kaiserin. Heavier than the J3A. Hmm. Eight thirty-two <laughs> five hundred. You don't even have streamlining to blame it on. East. 317. 317. All I right. take that second place. Another five points for East and four points from you. He did just say he'd take that. I feel like that's what he expected. Three points for the Milwaukee, two points for the Empire State Express, and one point for the L-2. Bender. You've been, uh, uh, got a two and a three. You can go up from there. What's your third stat call? Number in class. Number in class. Going once. Going twice. All right. Let's see number in class. Why are y'all helping East? <laughs> okay, you'd be surprised. I was actually scared to call this that compared to two other engines here. Well, let's hear it from the, uh, from the J3As. Ten. Oof. All right. Just ten. That was one of the people I was afraid from because I know, like, the way the NYC does stuff, it's like, it can either be really high or really small, depending on how they were feeling that day. Yeah, uh, they did make a lot of Hudsons, but not a lot of Ds in particular. Yeah. Um, Mew. Yeah, based on uh, the description, not actually the spreadsheet in local base, also 10. Also 10. Okay. Uh, Bender? 22. 22. That's a respectable I amount. I was also afraid of Bender based off the numbering sequence of his engine, so I guessed it would be a lot higher than 22. Alright, Kaiserin. 8. 8. Ouch. And finally... 49, which is considered extremely low by Japanese standards. But still beats out all of these. It's in fact almost more than all of these combined. Uh... Five points for you, four points for the Milwaukee, three between the CP and the New York Central, and then one point to the L-2. Kaiserin, it's your turn now. Please get something other than a one. High-pressure cylinders. High-pressure cylinders. Going once. Going twice. I have a feeling you're not getting a one on this one. Uh, so you put your cylinders over here in the blue. The location is V24. Cell V24. Alright, I've got my numbers in. I'm going to finish the rest of them. Okie doke. I'm watching the numbers come in. Everyone should be holding their breath. I see two that are very, very close. And it's interesting how they've shaken out, actually. 
Um, all right. What is this number? Number of cylinders, in case you happen to have a third one hidden somewhere. Oh. Everybody seems to have two cylinders. Let's see the results. That is five points for the pair of 26 by 28 cylinders on the F6. Those are some hefty cylinders. Second, but just by a nose, is the L-2 with a pair of 25 by 30 cylinders. Three points to the Empire State Express with a pair of 22 and a half by 29s. Then in third place, 22 by 30 cylinders, very long, on the Royal Hudson. Uh, and finally, a pair of 20.47 by 25.98 on the Japanese C-62. So, definitely, definitely a win for Kaiser in getting four points out of that stat. And East is currently in the bathroom. So, I guess... Now he uh, must plot his destruction. Yeah, you guys, can, uh, you guys can do some plotting now because he's managed to get uh, three fives in a row and then a one. But still three fives in a row and I have very little doubt that is going to change the standings substantially when we get to his stat call. I... Uh, Speaking of his stat call, axle loading. Axle loading, huh? Going once. Going twice. Uh, veto. There's a veto on there axle loading. Is. I'm going to assume it's because you didn't have it. I was just, so who did have it? Not me. Nope. <laughs> did no one have it? Oh, you had it? I mean, you would have gone before. <laughs> Which is not what I would have intended, like, so... Uh. <laughs> that would have been a very interesting outcome. Uh, East, what is your yeah. second choice? Uh, my second choice is going to be number in class. Number in class. Oh, we did number in class. You mean number built, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Number built. I assume that's the same for everyone, but uh, please call it out if it isn't. So it should be 10 for the Empire State Express. 10 for the Royal Hudson. Yeah. And everyone yeah. else has entered theirs, so uh, 22 for Pender, 8 for Kaiserin, and 49 for the C-62. Same as number in class from two calls ago. And here's where we're at, at the end of the third round. The F-6 has taken the lead with 51 points, and is now trailed by the Empire State Express, and the C-62 with 48 points apiece. 45 points in 4th place. Fall into 4th place is the L-2, number 301, from the CNO. And finally, in last place, is the Royal Hudson, who has not benefited nearly as much from all the uh, low weight stat calls as East has. So... Tyler, um, do you think they found a new enemy? They've, they've found enemies. <laughs> Whether or not they will be good at defeating the enemies, well, we will see. I mean, if anything, all we've done is level the playing field. That's definitely yeah, true. Yeah, the problem of playing this out is... At the end, alliances must be betrayed. <laughs> and we are very close to the end. We only have one round of... of uh, stat calls left. I, I want to ask you, though, does it feel like the right locomotive is in the lead, or do you think somebody else should be, statistically speaking? Uh, honestly, the F6 is a very balanced machine, from what I can see. Mm. The box box it, drivers I, probably help. Yeah, it's it's one that... I, I really like the F6. The at, sec at some parts, but it's good enough all around that I, I think it is relatively logical to have this as first or second place. I think it's winning because it has the AAR truck. Yeah. I, I, I think it's winning because it has the goofy uh, horn and Mars light. Yeah. Uh, it is a smooth rider. I'll give it that. Anyway. Yeah, it, is literally the doohickey. It, is, it is the doohickey. It has all of the bells and whistles. Uh, yes. Anyway. Literally. <laughs> And horns. Like that headlight placement. Well, they had like, to... Why? They would have put it up there, but there was a Mars light in the way. <laughs> uh, anyway. 
K-Master. Fourth right, and uh, final stat call. Let's do tractive effort. Tractive effort. I was waiting for this. I get the feeling I know who it's going to benefit. Going once. Going twice. Tractive effort. I know there are no vetoes left on the board, but uh, I always like to give the person calling an extra minute to reconsider in case they realize they've screwed up. Uh, what is the tractive effort Blow of yourself up. these uh, J3As here? 41,860. 41,860. It's funny that how, is a lot less than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's funny how Pacifics and especially Hudsons, even though they were as important as they were towards the end of Steam, have such menial amounts of attractive effort, you know? Um, all right, uh, from the Royal Hudson. 45,254. 45,000, huh? Okay, that's those little drivers helping you out. How about from the F6? 45,250. Oh, what? Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, it wow. Was a, By four with pounds. The, <laughs> yeah, with, with the 79-inch drivers, it was about a 600-pound difference. That's basically it. Oh, wow. All right. Uh, let's hear it from the uh, L-2. 52103. Yeah, that is yep. that is the five you deserve. Uh, C-62? Um, okay, before I say my number, I would like to point something out. If any of you didn't believe that the FEC had very light Pacifics, this thing has more tractive effort than the FEC Pacific. <laughs> 30,580. <laughs> the most powerful FEC Pacific has a tractive effort of 28,000. That's really sad. Like, really sad. And, and no one believes me when I say they are extremely light there are, Pacifics. There are... There are narrow gauge Mikados with ten thousand more pounds of tractive effort than that. Uh, anyway, actually, I need, I need to check if the D fifty one is more powerful than Kaiser. Quickly, uh, see the FEC Pacific needs all that power to go up the maximum grade on the railroad of zero point three percent. Yeah, uh, unironically, it's a joke with the engineers that when they're training someone, it's like, okay, you really have to notch up for this grade, and then the grade is so shallow, it's like point zero point zero one percent of the grade. Yeah, they, they don't even notice it. Anyway, Ruling gradient. Five points for the L-2. Four points for the Royal Hudson. Three to the Milwaukee. Two to the New York Central. And one to the JNR. You, you came off pretty well out of that on account of your small drivers. What is your final stat call? Oh, I gotta look here. I regret vetoing weight on drivers, to be honest. Uh-oh. Well, you can't um, you take know? that back now. Nope. YOLO. Factor of adhesion. Factor of adhesion. That is a YOLO. Going once. Going twice. Oh, Bob Saget. <laughs> Let's see. Factor of adhesion. I have, I, I've never heard... I've not heard Bob Saget's name in a long time. This is a special one, by the way. You may notice everything turned blue. It's in V38. Because it's neither higher nor lower. It's just closer to 4. 4.00. Let's see the fact. Let's see so, the factor of adhesion these... of the J3A. <laughs> this is gonna be painful. Oh. <laughs> it, yeah, it is. Um, 4.82. Not <laughs> great. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Ow. It's bad. I mean, it's not hilariously bad, but it's pretty bad. Uh, Mew. 4.13. That's pretty That's good. Really good. Uh, I mean, considering... Considering it's a Hudson, it's really good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Bender? 4.34. 4.34. Respectable. Not, Not good, but respectable. Okay, okay. Uh, Not Kaiser. Great. Not terrible. Kaiser in? 4.17. Oh, okay. I was, oh. I was rooting for you to be the best one here, but this thing is a monster anyway. Uh, East... 4.66. Ouch! Okay, yeah, 5 points to the Royal Hudson, 4 to the L-2, 3 to the Milwaukee Road F6, 2 to the C-62, and 1 to the poor Empire State Express. These, the J-3As, and the Js in general, were just kind of slippy bastards. Uh, that's just the way it goes. It's maybe an understatement. Yeah. Yeah, but mostly on the bastard side, not the slippy side. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> Bender, what is your uh, 
final stat call. Flues. Flues. What an interesting, interesting. show. Going once, going twice. This is a special one as well. This is down at V52. Let's see the number and diameter of your flues. Remember, smaller is better, but more is also better. I see the numbers coming in. Those were mostly high numbers. Everyone's sort of in the same ballpark, except for, you know. Um, the man who called it? Yeah, yeah. Ow, 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 ow. You guys can stop now. <laughs> 183 3.5 inch flues from the uh, J3A. 171 3.5 inch flues for the Royal Hudson. 182 3.5 inch flues for the Milwaukee. 198 3.5 inch flues for the CNO. And finally, 35 5.157 inch flues. Not a winner. Incredibly large. Five points to the F... Oh, sorry, not the F7. Uh, the L-2. Four points to the Empire State Express. Three points to the Milwaukee. Two points to the Caller, which is not great. And one point to the C-62. Scroll back I want up you here. to... To keep in mind, I made that stat call for one reason and one reason only. Flues is such... It's... Tubes, sure, you have two and two and a quarter and two point... Like, one point one one seven. You have three and a half, five and a half, five and a quarter, four and a quarter, four and a half, three and three quarters. It's like... By the way, I, I screwed up. I forgot that was... um, I forgot that was your stat call and not Muse. So, Mew got two out of that and you did get five off your own. Um, oh, I got three. Anyway. Wait, what? Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking at factor of adhesion. I was. <laughs> I got I got so screwed up scrolling across this spreadsheet. I need to get used to it. I've got another five episodes <laughs> of this. Uh, anyway, yeah, so that's uh, that's the standings. Just look at them. They're on the sheet. Some people got some points. Kaiserin, you got a five out of that. Can you get another? I'm looking. I don't know. Oh boy. Let's go with uh, uh, great area. Great area. Going once, going twice. Let's see great area. Starting with the J3A. Let's see here. Alrighty. Great area. We are going to be 82. 82 square feet. Royal Hudson, Mew. Only 80.8. 80.8, still very close. Bender. 80. 80 even. Wow. Uh, I get the feeling this isn't going to keep going down. Kaiserin? 90. 90 even. And, and finally... And it plummets. 41.44. 41.44 from the C62. Five points to the big thing, the Midi Kanawa. Uh, four points to the Empire State, three points to the Royal Hudson, two points to the Milwaukee, Bells and Whistles Emotive, and uh, one point to the C-62. Which will round out our stat calls. East, what's your final pick? Okay, low precious. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real Kaiser and move. You just have one hidden in there. Yeah, yeah I wish, I wish. There were a lot of Japanese engines that did. Yep. And a bunch of alcohol products. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm thinking... Tubes. I had a feeling tubes. tubes would come around. I feel like when somebody calls flues, it's inevitable. Going once, going twice. Let's see the tubes over on the right. Right, under, right above where it says flues. I think there's a reason I didn't call tubes. Oh, yeah? You think? Are we all yeah. going to see what that reason was in a moment? Uh, I think we are. <laughs> hey, Mew, how's I'm... it going? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we finally found <laughs> some brothers. Remember, remember, the, remember the Mikado brothers? I remember the Mikado brothers. Oh, <laughs> my God. Remember <laughs> the Mikado brothers. Uh, all right. Five points 
for the C62 with 94 2.008 inch flues. And then we have everybody else. Four points for <laughs> the 59 2.25 inch flues on the Empire State Express. Three points apiece to the Canadian Pacific and Milwaukee Road engines for 58 of those. Uh, and 50 of those belong to the L-2, uh, so that's one point for Kaiser. Um, and that is all for the stats, asterisk. Let's look at where we are. In the lead are two locomotives, the Milwaukee F-6 and the CNO L-2, with 65 points apiece. Five points behind them is the... Oh, sorry. No, that's right. The Empire State has slipped into here with 63 points. Very close. And then at 60 points, the 2850, the Royal Hudson. And then 58 points, the C6... Excuse me, the C62. That first I'm just glad I made it to style points. You did make it to style points. As long as we well... can get through host choice. Hmm... Hey, Ellis, help a, help a friend <laughs> out, you know. Oh, man. I'll buy more trading cards. You did, that's <laughs> true, but I will not be bribed. However... Ty, Ty, Tyler and Ellis, help your son out. Yeah? I, I don't know what you could really call. I could, uh... I know what I could call that would cause a very bad day for the Japanese engine. Um, no, Ellis, please don't kick me out of style points. Oh, man, but you have so many. You know, yeah, that would make my so life so much I'm, easier. I'm still seven points behind. Hold on. All loco base ID, I dare you. <laughs> Hold on. No. Hold on. I want to hear Tyler's thoughts because I have some thoughts. Uh, I was thinking we should punish everybody for being long. Uh, ET's weight computation, oh you mean? Oh my god. No, no. I, I'm thinking. I'm thinking overall wheelbase. That hasn't been called. That doesn't punish it's everyone. Actually, kind of depressing. I mean, that's true. <laughs> that's true. But no, I I don't want to hand one to the C62. It's going to be fine. Uh, it it it's getting entirely too much attention. <laughs> uh. But you you were suggesting that because it will give your boy five points, and I'm not falling for it this time. I think we should do either ET's weight computation, because these are all Hudsons, so we're going to get some funny numbers. Or maybe wheelbase ratio if we don't want to make them do math. Wheelbase ratio would be interesting, I think. I'm willing to unless, place unless you have a computation. Unless you have another good idea... Let's see here. What else is left on the board? And you can do vetoed stuff as well. We we, we can do yeah, vetoed stuff, which is why I was gonna. I was thinking builder. <laughs> no. Which would have, no. which would just be mean to the Japanese engine. But I really yeah. want to know where these things came from. Well, you can ask that, but not really me. <laughs> Ish gets a get out of jail free card. Yeah, Tyler likes Bro, that. I'm already like ha half foot into jail here. <laughs> He's just going to something jail. Yeah, I'm like on the way to the behind Ivan. All right, Tyler, what do you think? You know, we'll find Ellis Tamelios. All right, Ellis Tamelios make computation. I'm excited. When my eyes just went right to it, I just sort of went like, no, this will be fun for these engines. Uh, all right, Ellis Tamelios weight computation. Nobody can veto this. Uh, go down to V59 and put in your weight on drivers and engine weight, please. And we will see who has the highest proportion of their engine weight on their drivers. I see a bunch of uh, weight on drivers in. The only person that hasn't entered anything is, uh, is uh, K Master. Oh, there's his cursor. Alright, going from the top as soon as K Master puts his number in, and as soon as, uh. Can't. One moment. Oh, there we go, there it is. Ooh, that's rough. I just saw a number come in. East, I see you sent me five messages and I'm not looking at them. <laughs> These are indeed some funny numbers, Ellis. They sure are. <laughs> oh, jeez. 
I, I think this may have something to do with how I was built. Quite possibly. Hello, everyone. Hello, Biden. You know what? In this fairness, in fairness, Tyler got what he wanted, and I got what I wanted. So, uh, point seven three for the uh, for the Japanese thing, which is a resounding five. That's really good for a Hudson. Um, but from the top, point five five for the Empire State Express with four points. Uh, point five three for the Royal Hudson with three points. Point five two for the Milwaukee thing with two points, and uh, .49 for the CNO thing, for the Mini Kanawa. That's that's really interesting. Probably all the weight is on that trailing truck to get it off the firebox. Um, let's show the host choice and where everything comes up. Now everybody is between 67 and 63 points. That really narrowed the playing field. That's... That was an excellent application of host choice, completely by mistake. Uh, <laughs> all right, I will mark everyone as ready, because I'm not kicking anybody out of style points. Everyone's been very well behaved. Uh, calling number one is the locomotive at the back. Mew, what is your first style point? Uh, my first style point will be... It still survives in preservation. Okay. Survives. Hi. All right. Uh, everyone give yourselves a point if your locomotive survives. So that's a nope, a yes, a nope, a nope, a yes. <laughs> Mew, what is your second style point? My second style point is haul to the royal train. You did haul royalty. I'm going to file that under a VIP. So, if you have a particular VIP that was most certainly hauled on your locomotive, you can give yourself a point. What is your third style point? Uh, uh, the originator of the class name. This uh, loco performed so well in hauling the Royal Train that Canadian Pacific seek permission and got permission from the Royal Crown to call these Hudsons Royal Hudsons. Um, I won't file that under the fact that it's a, it, it earned the name, but I will... Tyler, do you think we could call that a nickname? Yes, we could call it a nickname. Okay. Okay. So if your locomotive has a nickname, you can give yourselves a point. Swallow Angel, go forth. Wow. You. Uh, Is there a nickname for the Hudsons? Not that Hudsons. I, not that I know of. I mean, they did call them Hudsons, so they, they, they're the reason they're called Hudsons. So I would keep that in mind, I suppose. Uh, they're the reason they're called Hudsons in the U.S. Right. And the reasons we call the reason we call them Reed is so we don't have to keep having this argument. Uh, <laughs> Mew, what is your fourth style point? I will say uh, they were blue. Unique coloration compared to the rest of its class. Uh, compared to the rest of its class? We don't usually do that. You need to look at the yeah, competitors okay. here. And if I'm honest, the best paint? That is a tough call between you and the Empire State Express. Tyler, what do you think? Can we get a slightly better image of the Canadian Pacific thing? Because the yeah. one we have is very much blue washed. It is a little blue mind, washed. Do you mind if that other picture is of it, of it, is of it in a different livery then? Um, because that's the only picture I could find in color of it in blue. The only other pictures I could find are of the model in blue by Rapido. Well, Tyler, you know what it's supposed to look like, right? Yeah. I think it's a really tough call. It is. Um, I don't know. I found plenty of pictures in its current livery, which is the same one all the other Hudsons had. Do we... Do we this is unprecedented-ish, but do we want to call it a wash and just give paint points to both the Empire State Express and the Royal Hudson? 
I, I feel like that would be the best. Okay. Because both of them are unique in specific aspects. Yeah. All right. Well, that's uh, fine then. Uh, Mew and Kai. Uh, no, not Kaiser. Mew and K Master give yourselves a point for the paint. And Mew, what is your fifth and final for now style point? Uh, can I do semi streamlining? Yeah. I mean, I feel like this is. I'm not even sure if this counts as semi. I feel like people could argue with me about that, but it's it's definitely compared to 2816. This is smooth. Yeah. yeah. That's a, that's an interesting one because as far as streamlining goes, you definitely lose to the J3A. Um, it's streamlined like a beer can. It I'll is give it, it that. Is streamlined like a <laughs> beer can. Um, but. If if a children if a child drew a locomotive, just yeah, I've cylinder. I've drawn this locomotive about a hundred times without ever knowing what it was. Um, and I don't then know. I curse the Canadians for it. It is. Tyler, would you say it's less streamlined than the uh, Empire State Express? They both have the running boards exposed. Yeah, the twenty eight fifty has it less exposed though. Yeah. You have that whole front section. Um, I think we just call them both streamlined. Yeah. And also to point out the tender uh, on 2850 it meshes in with the engine whereas uh, how do you mesh a centipede with this? <laughs> yeah, it looks... It doesn't, match, it doesn't it looks even match paint. wacko. You know, they stole this centipede off of a Niagara and they're not apologizing for it. Uh, they're just uh, running away. But I wish we had a call. <laughs> they're running this. away. <laughs> the crew's probably back there with shovels, running. Give us our tender back. Yeah. All right. Anyway, yeah, they're, it's, they're chasing it down with the J 3s tender. Yeah. Yes. There's a. Uh, I feel like there's Backwards. an episode of Thomas and Friends about this. Uh, yeah. All right. East. That ends. Uh, use style points. It's your turn. Okay. Uh, operating in preservation. Yes. That's one. If you have a locomotive that operates in preservation, which I think you're the only one here, because only yeah. two of you survive, and you're the only one that operates. Um, All right. Um, I have a question. Go on. Is operating in preservation and mainline excursions different? Um, I think... I think they could be given as different points. Uh, Tyler, I know you want to give this thing more points, but objectively, I feel like... I feel well, because like... I have several main... Like, I, I'm just... I, I'm explaining it. Um, I have several mainline excursions. One was for the 100th year anniversary, um, among others. And oh. a triple header in Hokkaido. So, can we file this under special event, perhaps? Sure. Could. Uh, because it's not what it normally does. All right, mm -hmm. uh, what is your... Wouldn't you consider for Mew that a special event would also be, you know, royalty? Didn't it hold that royalty in hold royalty point. regular that service? That event, yeah, that regular service versus preservation. Yeah, that's, it's, a reasonable, it's a reasonable thing. If any of these other locomotives went to a sort of major exposition or something like that I, I feel like it could be filed under special event as well yeah um but yeah no, the the vip is different than a special event in this case uh what is your third style point east smoke deflectors you do have those smoke deflectors i just want to say if uh, anyone wants to go back and look at the picture of the main central hudson that i was going to bring uh, it has the dinkiest little smoke deflectors I've ever seen. I have a but better the picture. The B&M style. No. Those, are, those aren't smoke deflectors. Those are earmuffs because it's so oh, cold. The ear yeah. earmuffs. <laughs> so That's I do fair. want to tempt you with something, Ellis. Go on. Auto Perry has pictures of these. Oh, no. And this is one we, of them. We, we're, not, we're not going here today, folks. We're not going here today. Oh, that's a good picture. That is a good Buy trading Ellis. cards. Ellis. My training cards. Uh, AAR type training cards. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It just God. supports my. It just supports my earmuffs theory. That picture. 
It's true. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Tyler, real quick. The J3 has those... It has... Okay, no, those are just decorative. Never mind. Um, because sometimes these streamlined locomotives will have integral smoke deflectors, but I don't see anything on any of these. Uh, Alright, yeah. uh, what's your th fourth point, East? Uh, uh, smoke box start. You do have a smoke box start, which is absolutely something nobody else has. It's also, like, very nautical themed. I, I don't know why JNR switched it up every once in a while. They did. It's it's got the handbrake from the DM3 for those that have been playing lots oh, of Derail God. Valley like me, like me. Um, all right, fifth and final. What's your uh... Uh, two headlights? You do have your spare headlight, which Tyler explained to me earlier. What that is. Um, nobody else has a spare headlight. The uh, there is the Mars light on the Milwaukee thing, but I'm going to file that differently. This is literally a spare headlight. Uh, does Tyler mind explaining everyone to why it has a second headlight? Go ahead. Okay. So, <laughs> Japanese National Railways was majorly based. They electrified a lot. A uh, problem with electrification when you're running steam locomotives. Electric locomotives have their headlights down, you know, about eye level. You can you can get to them. A uh, steam locomotive, like JNR, you've got it up top with how they did it. They get the dart in. If that bulb burns out, and you have a guy up there to change the bulb, he might just touch the wire and electrocute himself. That's what we call a skill issue. <laughs> yes. So, Ouch. in case of the bulb burning out, you have that secondary headlight. Just flick an air switch. Boom. Keep going on your way. Once you get to the depot, get into one of the stalls that is not electrified. Life goes on. Nobody gets electrocuted. The coroner is not called. It is literally a spare headlight, which is the funniest thing. Anyway, all right, yes. Kaiserin, you're up. Okay, I don't know if this is style point or not. I've got an Elisco Type B e feed water heater. That's absolutely a style feed water heater. Yep. Yep. Anyone who else has feed water heaters? Yeah. Who else has a feed water heater? Is, is it that what that thing short. is right above? Yep. You you have it, Game Master. Josh uh, <laughs> has one. That's... In the funniest place ever. No, 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 no. The one of the Empire State Express is way funnier. It really, they, it just has a hat, and they just put the shroud over the hat. I've never noticed this okay. before. This okay. is okay. so Hello. stupid. Look at, look at the C-62. Find where the hat is. Find where the hat is? Yes. Oh, it's down there. <laughs> Yankee. Oh, his hat fell off his head. <laughs> Yankee with no <laughs> brim. <laughs> Does everyone have a feed... You have a feed water heater, you? Yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, what's next, guys are in? Uh, uh, Steam I'm engine with no brim. <laughs> I have a engraved number plate. Oh, you have an embossed number plate. Embossed I have four of them. Uh, that's true. And all yeah, of mine are involved. Has the most. Yeah, East absolutely has the most. Uh, I'm looking at everyone else's here. Everyone that has an embossed number plate gets half a point, and East gets a point. Do I have an embossed number plate on the front? Is that kind of this embossed? Yeah, you look yes, like it. Yeah, you have an embossed uh, one. Ooh, um, yes, I do. You have like, you have two, I think, Mew actually. Yeah, Mew if has you, you has uh, some big have, old embossed numbers. I uh, have polished cast brass numerals that were mounted on the running board. Does that count as 0.75 of a point? No. I'm not giving 0.75. I'm giving half a point for where it partially applies. 0.5001. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, 0.5333. So point, 0.5 goes to Mew and... The only person that doesn't have an embossed number plate at all is K-Master. Uh, however, due to Kaiser not getting a full point on her stat call, style point calling is now in the hands of K-Master. Alright, uh, let us see here. Should I go down to my segment? Yeah. Um, what is uh, 
what are your or what is your first style point call? Now let's do disc drivers. You do have those disc drivers. I too have disc drivers. You have box box, but you also get a point anyway. They are equivalent. And, and D62, the, the D sixty two also gets a point for this. Um, all right. What is your second style point? Skyline casing. You know, that's true. That is something that you have that yeah. nobody else does. That wouldn't fall under streamlining? Uh, no. Normally it would, okay. but the reason I'm allowing it differently here is because we let you and him have the same point for streamlining. And that is something that he has that you don't. Fair. I just found something really, really cute. Oh, no. And also, Southern Pacific like to do skyline casing and then streamline it all out besides <laughs> that, really. The oh, B&M the B &M also did that, which is really funny. Uh, True. Let's look in streaming and recording. I will look in streaming and recording. Oh, my God, it's number one. <laughs> <laughs> it's look one and two, everybody. Boy. It's the Porter Patrol. <laughs> yep. Is that is that like an export? Yeah. Yep. 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 Uh, that's that's, that's for Hokkaido. All right, what is your is that third order? Yes. What is your it third is style point, uh, K Master? Cent centipede tender, of course. Yeah, you do have that centipede tender. Box. That's something you Shonked and you get alone me. after you stole that from a Niagara. Um, <laughs> fourth stat call or style point, rather. Recessed headlight. I have given that before. Do we really want to give it? Uh, but in we this, already in had this case, yeah, in this case, I feel like it is integral to the streamlining in both you and the Canadian Pacific locomotives. So I'm going to say <laughs> no soup for you. You do not Damn get it. the inset headlight, and uh, play passes to the Milwaukee Road. The Milwaukee Road. Hello, Milwaukee Road. All right, uh, Bender, Mar what have you got? Mars Light. You do have that Mars Light. Yep. Uh, you know. Yeah. Okay. Yep. You got the Mars Light. Moving on. I, I think I think this is Alice is going to question a lot of things. I mean, I this is this locomotive so wacky, man. It's just like we want we. It's like they were handed a box of accessories. It's like you got a Lego kit, right? No, this is and you, you built. You have it. the little like your parts bin yeah. for your brass models, and it's yeah. just like the random junk scraps. And we're like, okay, it's we're going to attach as many things as we possibly can to this locomotive. Let's hear the second thing. Air horn. Yeah. Yeah. You you can sing the song of many people. I'll be honest. If Indeed you had, I can. if you had missed that, Scare I would have flipped the, the table. Uh, Did the Central oh, it, put air horns on any of their engines? Can't remember. Mm, I don't think so. I don't think the Central liked air okay. horns. The New Haven liked air horns. Uh, the New Haven That's is New Haven. Up. We don't need to talk about them. Uh, Hammers on the Port Work. Um. <laughs> Port Work. All right, number three. Folding coupler. You've got that folding coupler, as does at least one other person. Uh, uh Yes, I do. That'd be K Master. I'm surprised the CP thing doesn't, but it just has the coupler sticking out of the really nice cast, smooth cast pilot. Um, you don't, oh, and gosh. you don't. So yeah, it's just the Empire State Express that gets the folding coupler point on top of the uh, Milwaukee. No one has been mathematically Milwaukee. eliminated yet, so this is going to get really close. Uh, Bender? Number four? All right. I have to closely examine some things here, which is not particularly great. The truck that okay. you borrowed from an RS1 doesn't count. Just, uh, I was getting that genuinely curious about that. Uh, I mean, it looks cool. Well, actually, I, I will leave that to Tyler, but uh, you can call that if you want, and if it doesn't go your way, then it doesn't go your way. Oh, thank you. Something about this yeah. image doesn't sit comfortable with me. Okay. Well, is that, is uh, that AAR um, truck a dummy or a booster? It's it's, it's a dummy. It's just the it's the outside frame truck. It's, it's something dumb. they developed. A lot of engines have. If it was a booster, um, that'd be that's... so funny. Now, cast pilot wouldn't would necessarily be. count with uh, folding coupler. Would no, it? a cast pilot's something else. 
Okay, fine. I'll take that. Uh, and actually, two other engines get that. Would I count as cast pilot or no? Yeah, you get the cast pilot, yeah. and so does the other streamlined thing. Gotcha. Oh, and that mathematically eliminates our first contestant, Kaiserin. I'm sorry to say, you were had a really strong showing the stats, but your big engine is just too big. Hey, mm. thank you, hey, thank you for hey. playing. Look, 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 I overcompensated. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> yeah, a little too hard. Find in European, but then I brought something big in American, and it was too big. Yeah. Oh, gotta well. find something in the middle. Probably at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> that that would technically be the middle. Kaiser is going to show up the with the engines from the Titanic. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, uh, uh, okay. Uh, displacement on drivers. We're going to have to make a separate stat column for medium pressure cylinder. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Some British ship did use former railway steam locomotives as their um, drive system. Thanks, I well, hate that. Was in the days of sailing ships. Well, apparently there's a Russian yeah, pressure yeah, engine which uses the Arabic. engine of a T-35. What do you say, Kaiserin? I'll bring the Erebus. You know, the Erebus and the Terror. Oh, no. Yeah, there you go. They have yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of. Motors as their engines. Uh, you don't get extra tractive effort from the sails. Just putting it out there. Uh, all right. <laughs> Bender, what is your fifth and final style point call? All right, let me look it over here. And see who you're going to eject by doing this. Myself? Uh, possibly, because you're going to run out of time. How much time do I have? A uh, little, because we burned a lot of it chit-chatting, and you could have been thinking. Ah, uh, I see. Um, I almost want to say power reverse or mechanical lubricator. Power reverse is power one, reverse. and mechanical lubricator is one. you got to pick one, though. Time? Uh, power reverse. Power reverse. All right, what locomotives here have power reversed? I would hope everyone. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it is everyone. All right. I'm trying to find it, and I'm genuinely... I can't find anything online. There's, I feel like it's on the you, left side I of the C-62. Wait, uh, you... Oh, wait, no, you It are, is entirely possible I, that uh, the Canadian Pacific doesn't have it because it has a screw instead. I know uh, where... But shoot, I feel like we've I, had this I'm conversation. Drawing, I, I'm just wondering... Oh, you just got eliminated. I'm just wondering, but do I do I still add a point or do I just stop? That's up to you. You can add. I I think it's uh you know it can be looked upon as good sportsmanship to add a point because you'll know really where you stand at the end. I think it's uh, uh I think you should. I'm not sure if the Canadian engines would have required a power reverse given that they weren't under the auspices of the ARR. I don't think. Yeah, but like I, I hope. Can we they pull do? up diagrams very quickly, or something? I, I don't have diagram. I don't have these diagrams on my computer. Sad. I have it on my other computer. Oh man, we need to put them. But... We need to get you a database. Oh, found it. You yeah, found it? it would be nice. I think they sort of had a power screw reverse. Okay. They have a screw reverse. I know that for sure. Yeah. I think they had a power screw reverse in that, so they didn't have to keep uh, manually, if they had to go backwards and forwards a lot. I think it was air power to just quickly spin the reverser back. Okay, that's forward. kind of baller, but at the same time, keep your hands away from that reverser when you're doing that. Yes. Uh, yes. I yes. Just, just imagine it spinning like a while with a cap. Alright, you've saved yourself from elimination. Who is up hmm. next? Let's see. I think it goes back to east. Yep. Excuse you. Okay. That was my, my bed. Uh-huh, <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh, uh, -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> That's what they all say. Uh, all right, ice guards. Wait, what did you say? Ice guards. Ice guards. This is what happens when you run in Hokkaido. You see that little... Oh, oh, I like, see it. Yeah, it's a little... The it's, I thought that was an aberration like on the, the tunnel motors. Ice guards. Yeah, it's oh, like the... Uh, yeah. Yeah, and I don't think anyone else has that. This is what happens when you run in the wild north. Ice yeah. guards. Yeah, I, I get actually? the feeling nobody else oh. does because sometimes you see Where? that very distinctive, like, flanging gear. In, in the photo yeah. I just sent, you can see it very clearly behind the smokestack, but in, uh, in front of the... Uh, you know, my, the, my yeah. Oh, that thing. might count as flanging gear. I know. Your, would you say your front truck? Yeah, it might. 
<laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm no. not counting that. Uh, no. All right, uh, East. What's your second one? My second one is token catching device. Oh yeah, yeah you've got the it, token catcher. It's the really weird thing of they're running their express passenger trains in a very late time uh, on token system. Yeah, and going of... at speed. Wow. Like, I'm not calling what? it alarming, but I'm calling it alarming. Uh, Amazing. Uh, I'm right. calling it based. Well, Mew is eliminated as well. Mew, thank you for playing. I'm really worried that the C62 is going to take it here. Uh, and uh, if right. ATS. Oh. Yeah, the, the, the PTC, but it's uh, 1950s. Yeah, ATS mechanism. Which something we discussed for the trading cards, and now that has eliminated the Milwaukee Road. Mm -hmm. And uh, retired in 1971. <laughs> that's fair. Definitely the latest retirement. Latest retirement. And, and last this, but this, not least, and that does it. You don't need to last but not least. But uh -oh. what is your last but not least? Electric blower. All right, we won't mark yeah, that down for the sake of the of final up. score. But with the sweep of style points, look at those. 15 of them. The next closest was the Empire State Express with 9. Let's show the final results. Holy Moses. I'm scared. 15 style points. The C62 has unsurprisingly taken it. Uh, you gave him just a little too much rope, perhaps. 78 points. 76 was second place, K-Master, with the uh, J3A. Uh, 74.5 to Bender in third place. Uh, 71.5 to Mew in fourth place. And 68.5 to Kaiserin in the Mini Kanawa. I would have liked to see this thing succeed, even though I think it's butt ugly. Well, I mean... Look who's got it. I mean, I mean, think about it. The only Royale I've won so far is the um, As the Crow Flies Royale. Mm -hmm. I brought a locomotive nobody thought would win. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, no one thought I was winning this either. Uh, I don't know about oh, that. We knew. I, I, I feel like people knew. You were going to win. You I mean, it. okay, the, in the history of Royales, there have been, what, three times uh, Narrow Gauge Engines have beat out Standard Gauge competition. Okay, okay. And, and two G15. of those... And G15. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then uh, in the... Uh, in one of the Royales, where it was him uh, winning with the NG... And former Royale, with him with the NG15. Granted, in that one, they had assistance by a, a spy. Of course, it's always the NG15. So, uh, yeah. things that beat standard gauge engines. The NG-15 and the C-62, it has entered the Mighty Halls. And, uh, man, I, what, what I wouldn't be surprised is if this thing goes all the way. Um, but that rounds out the competition today. Thank you guys for playing. Congratulations, East. You'll be moving on to the finale, which will take place on August 30th, 7.30 p.m., and if you, dear viewer, would like to get involved in Local Royale, you can join our Discord. And the next five Wednesdays, including the finale, there will be spots available for you to bring your locomotive. The next game types are... Next week we have locomotives that served the Jersey Terminals. The following week after that we have Camelbacks, Mother Hubbards, Camels. The week after that we have engines that have exploded in one way, shape, or form. Uh, and the week after that, we will be taking submissions for locomotives to randomly hand out to the contestants. So, stay tuned. Joke on you, I'm throwing in the, uh, the North Korean Baltic tank. Yes! Yes! yes. Yeah, <laughs> Let's have that anymore. win! I, so... I hope that can, oh my god, I need to find another North Korean engine. <laughs> we, okay, North Korean D-51, I'm pretty sure it exists. Manchurian, uh... <laughs> What's the... Oh, what? God, the, the, the B-16. Yeah. Oh, my God, hold up. The Rocket yeah. of China. Oh, my God, the Rocket of China. <laughs> Actually, can we, get, can we get back that Iranian ripoff of the Mallard? 
<laughs> no. Oh my god, the, the Australian T1. Oh yes, I mean that thing's genuinely yeah. cool. Even better. Like, yeah, that's... How the right. T1 should have been made. No, wrong. My angel swallow. <laughs> Thank you all for playing, and I will hope to see you next week. Goodbye. See ya.